Hi guys, it's me Chrissy. Welcome to my channel guys. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Today I'm doing a, a quite a bright painting to start off with. I'm just using some vermilion red and I'm putting two coats on and I'm just soft blending it in with my mop brush. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite a nice little video and uh, a nice subject to paint. So I'm just soft blending it all out with a vermilion. And obviously I, I thoroughly dry in between each layer and I thoroughly dry before I, I put my image on. So I've just drawn on a little Robin Red Breast here on some toadstools. So I'm just using a, a brown, just a dark brown with some uh, uh, burnt sienna and a tiny bit of red. Just to block these mushroom, uh, toadstools and the little bird in. I might have added a quite a uh, little bit of magenta there, I think I have, yes. Just to darken some areas. The thin layer I'm using, because I like to work up in glazes, as you know, if you follow my channel. So now I'm just putting some darker tones in. I'm just using some red and I'm mixing a tiny little black just to get some dark values. And the yellow is just some uh, cadmium yellow with some Naples yellow. So I want some darker shadows on uh, the toadstools, obviously. So I'm just blocking them in. Thin layers again. I'm letting each layer dry. I'm using the same value again to put in the ivy of the leaves. Just a really dark colour. So it's just a tiny bit of black and, and red. I'm just blocking it in. I'm going lighter shades in some areas, just adding a bit more green. Or you could add a bit of a tiny bit of yellow to your mixture just to lighten it a little bit. And I thought this looked super cool on a bright red background. Um Obviously, if you didn't want that bright, you could uh, mist it out a lot more, you know what I mean? And blend in some more shadows. But I, th I think it looks really cool, in my opinion. I quite liked uh, doing this. I enjoyed doing it. So I'm putting some grey tones in there because obviously they're going to be a bit lighter. So I'm just adding a lighter value where I want my lighter sections to be and uh, my mid-tones and highlights, yeah? I thought she looked really cute, just uh, <laughs> sat on top of this little uh, toadstool. It was nice, it had a nice autumn feel about it and I enjoyed painting it. I hope you enjoy it guys. If you do, give us a thumbs up, I appreciate that as well. And his little beak and his eyes in, still a dark mixture. Any dark mixture that you mix up will do. It doesn't have to be any particular colour. And now I'm just using some cadmium orange and some uh, cadmium red medium. And I'm not going filling it all in. I'm methodically going round just dabbing on with my brush. I'm just using a filbert brush just to get some like uh, feather texture. So I'm not blocking it all in like I did with the underpainting. And I'll let every layer dry before I come back in. I'm just shaping his beak and his eyes a bit more and just putting some shadows round where it'd be naturally catching a shadow. Let's give it that more realistic feel. And if you enjoy art, guys, I have a Facebook group you can uh, join also. We have great fun in there. It's all arty. It's not just paintings. We do crafts as well, like modelings, uh, clay. Knitting, crocheting, uh, wet felting, everything. So you're welcome to join that at any time. All the links for that is underneath this video. So I'm still using my little detail brush. I'm just getting all the shadows correct that I want, that I can see before I start putting my mid-tones back in. Like I said, I'm not doing every individual feather. I'm just giving it the feather textured look. Maybe if you're on a larger size canvas, this is just an A4 size canvas, which is roughly 11 by 8. But if you did it a bit bigger, you could add a bit more detail. And his little legs in. Little stick legs. <laughs> 
And I like little birds. So I think you're a dead cute little Robin Redbreast. Also, guys, I've got a website if you want to check that out. The link for that's in the description box. I do sell my artwork and uh, I think it's very reasonably priced. It includes packaging and postage. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. The link's, like I say, is underneath this video. So I'm going in with some glaze in here. I'm just doing a, a really light orange colour. I've just mixed some red and... Uh, yellow together. I'm just giving a bit of a glaze and I'm going patchy as well. I'm not doing it really super smooth because I still want a bit of texture on these toadstools. I'm just going a bit brighter now with some more cadmium red. Obviously the background has helped us being that nice vermilion. It gives a nice bright start yeah, to, to work on for his toadstools. Same colour again with me. Uh, I've gone a bit more with cadmium or, uh, yellow now. And now I'm just doing a bit of magenta and a tiny bit of white just to give it that pinky tint. Because as you see further on in the video, it's the light source is coming from the right side. So I just want to lighten that up, but I don't want to mix the red and white to get a total pink. So I've gone with quinacridone magenta and I've just tinted it slightly with some mixing white, not titanium because that's a bit opaque. So I've just used some mixing white which is a very transparent white. I don't want the shadows to melt into each other. I didn't, I didn't want any harsh lines, especially on top with the birdies. Again, doing another layer. Just to get that nice uh, yellowy feel on the on the edge of the toadstool. I'm just tidying up the edges. I've just gone back in with some more vermilion just to tidy up there. Now I'm going in with my yellow again to get some uh, feather texture over that uh, red that we put on previously. I've I've dried it all off so it's all nice and dry. I'm just using a soft filbert here. I like to work with soft brushes because, like I say, I do glaze a lot and they work great for me for uh, uh, layering in thin layers. I'm not going super detailed, but I'm, I'm putting a little bit of detail in. So I'm just going around and just checking where I want stuff to be more prominent in certain areas. just putting a light shadow on the side of his beak there around his little eyes still using that yellow tone like here I'm making it a bit more obvious with the feather texture as you can see but we still want him like that nice robin red breast look And underneath his belly, so I want that like back glow, so it's just glowing underneath him. I didn't want it dark because his tail was dark, his legs are dark. I thought it looked quite nice like that. I'm just reshaping them eyes a little bit more, I'm just setting them back. So here I'm just using an off wire, I'm just using some buff titanium. Just to put in the actual uh, markings of the toadstool. And as you see, as we get further on in the video, we do multiple layers on those also. We can use titanium white and some yellow ochre to make this uh, a colour. It's like a creamy colour. Now I'm subtly changing values on these leaves because I don't want them too obvious because I don't want them to take away from the actual toadstools and the birds so I'm keeping it quite subtle with my values so I'm just moving up ever so slightly into a different shade so I just want to, your eye to catch that they are a leaf so I just want that loose impression style I 
I'm using sap green and I'm using a real dark green. And if I wanted it really dark, I'd just tone it down with a bit more black or some blue like I'm doing here. I thought that bluey purple looked really nice against some of them uh, toadstools. This would make a beautiful postcard as well, you know what I mean, if you, if you like making cards. It'd be really cool to put on like a nice handmade card or send us a postcard to your friends overseas or relatives, you know, coming up Christmas and that. Just using a light blue here, just to indicate some highlights that are just catching on them leaves, but nothing too bright. No, I'm not using white. So I just want a nice subtle transition. Still using my soft filbert brush, which I have multiple of. Like I said, the, the uh, reds really help because it does glow through. So I'm using thin layers, so that's helped me out there. Plus, I think it looks really nice and vibrant, something different. See, I'm just doing it subtly, so it's indicating the shape of the ivy leaf without actually making it too bright. So I'm just using that red again. I've just darkened it slightly. And then I've just done another layer to uh, go on the, the mushroom, on the toadstool, sorry. So I've used buff titanium and titanium white this time just to get a lighter value. And I'm using the same mixture here to put in the on the stalks or the stems of the toadstools to give some texture, visual texture. It doesn't matter if you get too light, you can always come back and glaze over some nice, you know, some shadows, which is not a problem. You just want to make sure your values are correct, it's the main importance. So now I'm not I'm not brightening the whole of them spots now, I'm just doing like the centre. So it's more more titanium white this time on this layer. And I'm just dabbing in on the middle bits and leaving the rest that duller. Um, tanny colour, yeah. So this is a mixture of Indian yellow and cadmium yellow that I just put on the rim of the mushroom because it, the Indian yellow is a nice transparent colour so it's nice to work with when you've got glazing medium as well. Can you see how it gives that nice soft transition onto the red? And I'm using the same mixture on the, on the stalk. I'm just going back doing some more shadows. Same again, that magenta mixed, just to brighten it up a little bit. That was magenta and some uh, um, mixing white. I'm just putting his little feet in now, he's got some little claws. There's a little bit of detail there, but nothing too, too major. Just making sure I've got them straight because they've got really straight little legs, haven't they? <laughs> it doesn't look like he's got a broken leg. And here I'm tidying up with the vermilion just to get some more shapes rather than going in on the greens again. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.